Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel for another unboxing video. Today we'll be unboxing LEGO Brick Built Minions and their lair. As you can probably guess from the name of my channel, I have lots of different hobbies. So I also have collecting sports cards, I also collect LEGOs. Growing up as a kid, I did build some LEGOs, but I was more into video games and collecting cards. And then last year with the pandemic and all the lockdowns, we were spending a lot of time stuck at home. And after watching hours and hours of Netflix and Disney Plus, I wanted to find new activities to do at home that doesn't involve screen time. And then one of the activities that I got into was building Legos. So the first set of Legos that attracted me was the modular building series and the first one I got was the assembly square when they had the free ice skating ring pomo and then after the assembly square I got the medieval blacksmith when they had the Amelia Earhart promo after that I also got uh, the roller coaster and the tree house when the, uh, Lego had the double VIP points promo and then recently, during Black Friday from Amazon, I got this Minions uh, set and also the Modular Building Police Station set. Uh, they were on pretty good discounts on Black Friday and they sold out relatively fast that day. So let's take a closer look at this set. So this set is from the movie Minions The Rise of Gru, which is the sequel to the standalone Minions movie. The movie was supposed to come out in 2020, but like many things with the pandemic, it got pushed back to 2021, and then now it got pushed back again to July 2022. So this set, uh, number 75551, has 876 pieces. And on the front of the box, you can see Stuart and Kevin, and also a close-up of the inside of Kevin. And we also see the mini figures of Bob, Stuart, and Kevin. On the back of the box, we have more details on the inside of the minions after they're built. And also Kevin can be rebuilt into Bob. So from this box, we would get a total of two minions. Uh, we can do either of Kevin or Bob. So looking at the picture, Bob looks much smaller than Kevin, so most likely I will stick with Kevin because I uh, prefer not to waste uh, Lego bricks just sitting in the box if I go with Bob, even though Bob is a cool character from the movie. So let's open this box and see what's inside. Now we have everything out of the box. We have instruction manual one for Stuart and instruction manual two for Kevin and Bob. So for Stuart, there is a total of 83 steps and two bags of bag number one to build Stuart. For Kevin and Bob, looks like there is 96 steps to build Kevin and 76 steps to build Bob. And then we have three bags of bag number two to build Kevin or Bob. And then we have the stickers for the interior of each minion. So let's start building.
have the finished built of the Lego set. So let's take a closer look at what we got. So the movie Minions, The Rise of Gru will come out the summer of 2022. So I'm sure a lot of the um, references in the set will make a lot more sense once the movie comes out. So for now, I'm just going to make take a guess and uh, see what these references uh, possibly could be in the movie. So we got uh, the two big layer figures of Kevin and Stuart and we also get three minifigures of the three minions so let's start with Kevin so Kevin here is wearing the regular minion costume with the workers I guess pull up of uh, the goggles and also his hair that looks like what other Lego sets use for plants and then here I have him carrying a banana. So for all the different toys that I collect, whether it's Lego, Hot Toys, and Androids, um, I don't like to waste accessories. So whatever leftover pieces I have, I try to have the characters carry those uh, in their hands so that we're, they're just not stuck in the boxes. So for Kevin, I have him carrying a banana. So as you can see in the box, he can also wear the, uh, I guess, uh, construction hat, but I, for now I'm just having him have the hair up instead. Next we have Bob. So for the big figure, I decided to go with Kevin instead of Bob because we can only choose one of the two and Bob is a much smaller figure. And if I go with Bob, there will be more pieces that will just be left in the box so I went with Kevin but we do get a small minifigure of Bob so here is Bob he looks like he's wearing a track suit and he's also wearing a fisherman's hat or a farmer's hat so maybe he in the movie he's training to become a farmer or a fisherman and for the weapons I gave him a stick and a trident to help him fish if he ends up fishing in the movie. And then lastly, we have Stuart. So for Stuart, he wears what looks like a pajama. And then he also has a fireman's hat. So maybe while he's sleeping, a fire broke out and he has to put out a fire. And then I gave him a spear to help him put out that fire, if that happens to be the case in the movie. So those are the three mini figures, and let's take a closer look at the layers that are the main attraction of the set. So here's Stuart with the one eye. So I have him doing the I'm not sure pose, or I didn't do it pose. So his fingers are articulate. He can move uh, the thumb and the two fingers around. His wrist is also can be adjusted and also his arm can rotate. So same for his other arm. Uh, fingers can be moved around, the wrist can be moved around and also the arm can go 360. And then his feet can move a little bit left all right but um not too much range of movement and for his eye can be rotated from the outside oh, i guess uh oh yep can go 360 like this and then for his hair there's each piece for his uh, each strand of his hair so let's take a look at the layer inside Stuart. So if we open this up, we get what looks like a uh, steward's bedroom. So we have the stereo systems, and then we have his pulled down bed that he sleeps in. And then on the side, there's a target for him to practice shooting. Then there's some machinery items, maybe a radio or alarm, 
And then on the side, there's a wallpaper with someone with initial WK. On this side, there's a Vicious Six poster. And then there's like a boomerang. On the other side, there's another scientific gauge looking item. And there's like a tape recorder or TV up top. And then, so over this side, there's a uh, similar to the technique set mechanism that you can rotate in the back to rotate this eye. So it's pretty cool. So we'll look forward to seeing the movie and see if this is what Stuart's bedroom will look like in the movie. I think in the other movies, seems like the minions just have a big room all together. They don't have their individual rooms. So we'll see if this is referencing the new movie that Stuart has his own room. So here's Stuart. And then last but not least, we have Kevin. So with I said, you can either build Kevin or Bob and not both. So I went with Kevin. So similar to Stuart, his eyes can move the 360 degrees. Then I have him doing a thumbs up pose. So the fingers are also movable. The wrists can be rotated and also the arm can go 360. And then the feet can, similar to Stuart, is, uh, can be moved around a little bit. And his hair is, looks like what the other Lego sets use for the plants that just sticks up with maybe one six strands of hair. Let's take a look inside Kevin's lair. So for Kevin's lair, it looks like a lab with a lot of uh, different monitors. There is, um, I'm guessing, some pipe system on the side with uh, different tools for him to do his experiments. Then there's a, looks like a fire extinguisher in case something goes wrong. And then on the side, there is a poster that says TP. I'm not sure if that means toilet paper. And then 6.9 WTC. I'm sure these will make a lot more sense after the movie comes out. Then there's more calculations on, I guess, maybe a calculator on the side. So yeah, overall, this was a fun set to build. So for sure, there are some repetitive elements with the build because they are pretty, pretty much the same with the minions on the outside. Uh, so I, overall, I would say I was pretty happy with the set. Only thing is I wish they just made a bigger set so that there's enough pieces to make Bob as well instead of having to choose between Kevin or Bob. So yeah, here is my addition to my Minions collection. So prior to this Lego set, I have several other Minions in my collection. So first here is a Minion in his jail uniform from one of the Happy Meals from McDonald's, probably over 10 years ago. It was a wind-up, I think it was a wind-up. Oh. Uh, or it's a push toy that you can flip his arm, uh, I guess rotate his arm. So that's one of my other minions. And then another collection that I collect is uh, Medicom Toys Fabrics. Here are uh, Minion Dave and Minion Mel from Fabric Series 34 100% blind boxes. And so one is in, this, in their usual Minions uniform, and this was the secret in the jail uniform. And then lastly, when I went to Universal Studios in 2018, I picked up this uh, Minions plush. It's kind of big for the camera. So let's put him behind here. So here we have my entire Minions collection at the moment. So we'll see after the movie comes out there if there's more products that are fun to 
collect I may add to my collection as well. And finally, here is my toys room where I display my collections. And we have our Lego minions at this corner with Kevin and Stuart layers in the back, the Happy Meal minion and the Beric minions in the middle, and the three Lego minifigure minions in the front. Thanks for watching this video. I hope to do a room tour video in the future and go through my One Piece collection, my Beric's collection, my Lego collection, my Ninjoys collection, my Supreme Skate Deck collection, my Star Wars Hot Toys collection, my Marvel Hot Toys collection, and other miscellaneous uh, collections that I have. So thanks everyone for watching. I will catch you at the next video. Bye.